Three ways to forgive someone from your heart that has hurt you badly. And the third one is going to shock you. You're going to want to hear that one. But number one, forgive self first. Man, this is so important because many people try to forgive others and they have not forgiven themselves. In Matthew 22, 39, it goes on to say, love your neighbor as yourself. This was the second commandment. So in order for you to learn how to love yourself, you have to what? Do the first, loving God with all your heart, mind, strength, and soul. From there, he will help you to love yourself by you receiving his love into your heart when you grow closer to him. And then you're able now to love your neighbor properly, but you have to forgive yourself. This is a choice you have to choose to, amen? So now, number two, choose to forgive them. So once you've forgiven yourself, you can now move on and now you can choose to forgive them. Matthew 18, 22 goes on to say when Peter was actually talking to Jesus, he said, how many times should I forgive my brother or sister from my heart? Up to seven times? Jesus said, no, seven times 70. This is very important because that's 490 times. No one is going to sin against you 490 times, but it will come up to your mind that many times. So once you choose to forgive them, now God can begin the healing process in your life. And when this happens, every time it comes to your mind, it keeps going back. You tell the Lord, I have chosen to forgive them. You begin to tell him now everything that they made you feel like, the feeling. So if they made you feel angry, you say, Lord, they made me feel angry, rejected, depressed, discouraged. You give him all these things. And as you're doing that, you will now begin to be healed from the Lord. First John 1 John 1.9 goes on to say, The Lord is faithful and just to forgive you of all your sin when you confess it unto Him and cleanse you from all unrighteousness. So this is a part of it. Amen? Number three, this one is the one that will shock you because it's very different in the way it's said. Bless those who curse you. Luke 6.28 goes on to say, Bless those who curse you and pray for those who mistreat you. Man, this is so valuable because who you bless a blessing will come back unto you. So when you bless others, it's done unto yourself. So what you do unto others comes right back to yourself. When you're blessing them, you inherit a blessing, the book of Peter says. So as you're blessing them, it softens your heart and you naturally release forgiveness towards your neighbor. So you're going to want to bless them with everything that is good. Amen. Everything that you want to happen in your life with the Lord, bless them with, and it will happen in your life. See, the Bible's very clear about this. Also, giving thanks, thanks there in the Greek origin root, can also mean to forgive. So as you're giving thanks for their lives, for the Lord to help them in their lives, you're blessing them. And bless there actually means to speak well of. So as you're doing this, the Lord will touch your heart and you will release forgiveness unto your neighbor. And when that happens, you won't hold any grudge towards them anymore. And this is very important because the Bible's clear in Mark 11, 25. Unless you forgive your brother or sister from your heart, he will not forgive you. Matthew 18, 34. He'll hand you over unto the tormentors if you refuse to forgive your brother or sister from your heart. This is important. Because if you refuse to forgive, you can't be forgiven. And these are the main keys that you need to forgive. So let's pray. Father, I thank you in the name of Jesus that they heard this. They're going to take this in and they're going to do it. And they will grow in your holy name. I pray, Lord, that you heal, deliver any person watching this right now. In Jesus Christ's name, I command healing. I command deliverance in the name of Jesus Christ from every devil that's attacking them. Thank you, Lord, for answered prayers. God bless you.